are from Walnut Farm Designs, and um, I sell a lot of beginner drop spindles. And so I wanted to make a video um, to show how to uh, begin to drop spindle with either a top whirl spindle or a bottom whirl spindle, both very popular. I think that the top whirl could be just slightly easier, but there's debate whether the top whirl or the bottom whirl spindle is easier. Each of the kits comes with um, instructions and a link to this video and pictures. Um, and you can either get a, a, a kit with this kind of uh, fiber or this kind of fiber. This kind of fiber can, sometimes can be a little bit easier because um, it's just, it, there's not a lot of drafting. Um, something that you need to initially learn is to draft the fiber. Hold your hands far enough apart that you're not, um, if you hold your hands too close, you see the fibers can't pull apart. You need to hold your, fi your fingers far enough apart that you can draft the fibers and they pull apart. And you want to draft them until you see that there's a, a uh, space. Uh, you can see through the fiber. You can see where they're coming apart. And then you know you've drafted them far enough apart. So this type of fiber, if you get the kit like this, this is very easy to draft. Um, if you get fiber like this, um, I recommend that you split it down the length of the, the um, top. This is called cone top. And you can probably split it into fourths. And you can just rip off a little bit. And then this you may need to do a little bit more drafting. And you can see, you can see how thin that is. And you pull this and you can see the fibers coming apart. And you can see how thin that is. And you can see how far apart my fingers are. Now all of my um, all of my spindles come with leader strings. I don't do notches because I don't feel that the notch is necessary, and um, I don't want to have to be like, oh wait, I, where's that notch? I got to figure out where the notch is to get the string. It doesn't really matter. I don't find that there's a lot of slippage. Um, my beginner spindles are 11 inches long. Um, and they weigh 0.7 to 0.8 ounces, um, which I think is a perfect weight because if they're heavier, once they're loaded with yarn on the, on the shaft, they can get too heavy, and then you'll find that this will start to slip. Um, if they're too light, then they're too light and they won't get a nice spin for you. So I think that they're just perfect. So here is the leader string. And what you want to do to begin, and we're going to, we're going to learn by the park and draft method, uh, you bring your, your leader string up, you wrap it around about three times, and then you put clockwise spin, to the right clockwise spin, lots of it. You know what I forgot to do? First you want to put a little bit of your pre-drafted fiber through there. And then, and you want to, it's very important to keep your fiber supply out of your way. You might want to keep it up over your arm because you don't want to get it twisted in your leader string. You want to put lots and lots of clockwise spin. So it even telephone cords up, like the pinky telephone cord. And then, you kind of, it's kind of like an inchworm. You pull back with this and you're drafting the fiber with your left hand and you slide your right fingers up. You pull back with your left hand so you see very little yarn and you slide your fingers up. You pull back with your left hand, slide your fingers up, it's kind of an inch one, until you're so high. Then you probably use most of it, you see there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of twist in your leader string anymore, and so you take this and you spin it clockwise onto your shaft. Now you spin it up until you leave a little length because you've got to again twist it about three times and you want to leave about that much. Again, clockwise twisting. Give it tons of clockwise spin until you feel it get real tight, real tight, lots of clockwise spin. 
And then again, you want to take this pinch, pinching this, you do not want to allow, never allow your spin to go into the pre-drafted fiber. If you do that, you will not be able to draft it. So you want to pinch it securely, draft back, draft that back, and pull that up, draft that back, slide your fingers up, draft back, slide fingers up, draft back, slide fingers up. Now as you're beginning, I'm sure it won't be as fine as this. Now you see you've used all this extra um, spin in there, and when you've used all your extra spin, you need to unwind it from the hook, wind it again, one, two, back. and now again, three times around, clockwise spin, lots of clockwise spin, so that you get tons of Tons of pink, you see it's kind of really short now. This is where you call it parking. It's called parking when you stick it between your legs. Drop back, slide up, drop back, slide up. Never ever allowing, always pinching, never ever allowing that spin to get past these fingers and into your fiber supply. Or you will not be able to draft. Now as you get good, sometimes you can actually let go. Instead of sliding up, you can let go and let that, that go in. Now you can see I've used most of my spins, so again I need to let go and wind it on. So that is how you do that. Now, should you break your fiber supply, that's always a very nerve-wracking thing. So I've broken my fiber supply. You hold that back where here it's securely twisted. Lots of spin in that, get that away. Let it get all kinky up, boy, you can feel how tight that is with that much spin. And then you kind of lay the fibers alongside. And use your fingers. And so you lay the fibers alongside and draft them together. They don't know that they're different. They just become one fiber supply again. So you shouldn't feel nervous when you, you uh, rip your fiber supply for the first time. Again, I've used all that. So that is a beginner um, way to use a draft spindle. Um, as you get better, you can then begin to spin it and actually drop it. And it's kind of going wangly right now. But don't worry about that for a while. That's going to take practice. At the beginning, just do the park and draft method. And once you get that down, you can worry about the rest. Um, and don't worry if it's, it's thick or thin when you, when you uh, go to uh, ply it you will find that um, even the thick yarn, thick and thin, it turns out lovely once you ply it. Um, and I think I'll do another video on plying um, so that you can see that. Uh, but you always ply in the counterclockwise direction. You spin in the clockwise direction, you ply in the counterclockwise direction, you do also that for a wheel um, as well. Uh, I think that's all that I wanted to go over now. Again, with a um, with a if it should be gotten, a bottom whirl, you would do again the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just I find it easier to use a top whirl because you have to hold the bottom whirl between your legs. But the same steps apply uh, for a bottom whirl as a top whirl. You're just holding it that way. So, and your, and your, uh, scent, your, the thing that is spinning, the weight is on the bottom. So I think that should put you on the road to learning how to drop spindle. And again, this is Anita from Walnut Farm Designs.